Okay, we're on day um, 16. We're gonna be moving it quite fast. And um, we are really moving it. So um, we're gonna start, or I want you to know too, I mentioned it in the other one, I'm wearing um, shoes while I bounce. I normally don't wear shoes when I work out at all, but I have a dislocated toe I've had for 20 years, and, and it's starting um, to really affect the side of my leg and my knee and kind of up in here. So I have to have that done and it seems to support my foot a little bit better by wearing the shoes. I always recommend barefoot, especially for the Belcon, which is designed to massage your feet. And I really miss that part of it, but I have to take care of myself. So I hit the indoor run and it takes a second, three seconds. All right, here we go. We're gonna um, start off um, kind of where we ended, but I wanna do a, a nice warm up first. So you're gonna come over to the right a little bit, and we're gonna do the move that we've done before by just bringing your foot out like this. Bring that left, I just tap my heel, put my toe up, and then bring it forward. You can see how this works on um, the inner thigh and um, when you're like this, a lot of your weight is on your right. We do about five more. Okay, now we're just going to alternate our knees this. Remember how we showed that? Just very minimal. It's so subtle, you can barely see it. So, um, here we go. Remember the crunch. We're crunching also. Okay, now we're going to come over to the left and you're going to do the same move with your right. And we're going to start three, two, one. And you can improvise coming over and back, but we're warming up. So let's just, it's really good to improvise those muscles. It's great to challenge your muscles. And that's what we're doing when we're bouncing. You want to challenge them. Everything's a challenge for me. I love to challenge my body. It's the, um, what keeps you young, no matter how old. And being a mom of 10 babies, whew, I'm challenged a lot, believe me. Seven boys and three girls. So I'm always challenged one way or another. Okay, now, do those opposite knees. Then I want you to move your arms. Now, we're gonna come over to the right again. And you're gonna do that same, a similar move, but has similarities. So, we're gonna start by having that left foot over to the corner. And we're going to single out, um, by putting your toes up and your heel into the mat and you're gonna crunch over towards it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Really hear the rebounder more. Pull the arms. Crunch it over. Lift up that, you can add that shoulder. It's like a little shoulder shrug on the right. Keep the toe up. Warm it up a little different each time. Another way to challenge your body and your mind. Working out on a regular basis does so challenge your mind too. Five more. Okay. Alright, alternate those knees. 
Oh, we have an extended warm up. And that's okay. Um, we'll have a five minute warm up for a 20 minute workout. Okay. Now, remember, you're gonna take your um, right foot over. And I'm gonna come on that heel like this. So you lift it up. And you just still push your arms. About seven more. All right, one more little challenge of this. Um, it's going to be an alternating with having your toes come up and your heel onto the mat. But let's do a little push. I'm alternating my knees and I crunch forward like this. Let's go over to the left. Push it out. Okay, come to the center. Front. Just off me to the other right. Get that crunch and lean forward. Come to the front. To the left. Push it with the music. Make sure you're leaning forward, crunch. One more time, forward. To the right. <clears throat> now to one. Now, here we go. We are going to alternate that um, like this. But I'm gonna keep the arms moving. You come forward and back with this move. I'll show you a little view here. So as you're doing this, forward and up. Couple more. More core. Okay, that's it for that. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to that um, side crunch over with the knee. So it's gonna be your left side. We left off on the last video. We're doing it for a count of three and then lifting. Her warm up was pretty extended and you should be very warmed up by now. So I'm gonna count down from five. Hit one. And you're gonna lift up that right shoulder as you come over. And you have to bring your knee up high. Um, <clears throat> you just do what you can do. Five, four, three, two, one. So you're barely bringing it up. I'm working this into an intermediate bounce. And how to do different types of bounces is pretty much um, intermediate, it's not beginner. Because you have to learn how to move differently than you're used to. Keep bringing it over, I'm barely bringing it up. Now, for the last few, I'm gonna lift this arm out at the same time and then lift that elbow up. Here we go. More car, more car. Got our first mile on, I'm pretty sure. Should have really felt that on the right side, right here. All right, now, we're gonna do a little in-between move, OK? 
okay? Now, the in-between move is something that, well, something that you've already done. And the last video, we brought our knee up like this. Now, you're gonna take your left foot and we'll do the bounce for three. And you're gonna bring your inner foot up over here, okay? And then we're gonna move back over here. All right, so it's gonna be one, two, three. You don't have to bring it all the way up, but I want you to come over the same thing. You're gonna do that crunch. I'm gonna count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can bring both down, or one. Just bring them up. Punch over. Punch it. Okay, we're gonna do about seven or eight more. Bring it over. Two more. Bring it over. We're punching. classes, my members know me and they chant out more core. I'm very, very core oriented um, and I have a very strong core. Um, so now we're going to do that left. I mean right, it's my left, you're right. Um, we're mirroring right now. So we're going to count down from five. I hit one and we're just going to start by coming over like this first. And then I'll tell you in the last hand, and then you're gonna bring your elbow up. That's gonna really um, work your oblique area. Got it? All right. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm still lifting that out, that shoulder. Crunch it over. If you feel real rambunctious, you can come up higher. We're not going to do that. Pick that hip. This is all that hip movement I told you about. You're crunching your hip down. <clears throat> Almost there. So that hits the 10. All right, we're going to do with the arm out and really flap that arm up. Here we go. <clears throat> the arm flapper. Just when you see if your deodorant's really working. A couple more. That's good for that. All right. I think we've done quite a few moves already in this one. We're in almost 13 minutes already. Whew. Oh my, fast. All right. I'm just going to do this. Let's just do this again. We just do a couple to get you used to that hip. Good posture still. Never down here. You can walk around proud. A couple more of those. Because we're going to do the one, two, three, on the left here. Okay? All right. I count down from five. Hit one, and then three. And you can just come over, but remember that I always remind everybody in my classes that shoulder, um, that really adds to the move. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. See it's in. Punch it down here. Yeah. 
Get in there. We're gonna do about five more of these. That will zip to that. Now, we get a couple in between those. So, we're gonna single that on the left and <clears throat> to make sure we have time to do. Oh, my feet feel weird with shoes on. I don't like it at all, but I'll see if it works. All right, um, <clears throat> we're gonna alternate. Now remember, this is the harder move for a lot of people. So if you struggle with it, um, it's okay. So I'm gonna do a side view here. All we're gonna do here is alternate bringing your feet back. So let's get that bones going. All right, here we go. It's gonna be that front one, the right one. Here, let's go. Just pick it back a little bit, not much. Actually, I was gonna alternate, but I'm not gonna first. So front view, barely comes back, but it comes back. If you can't single it, you can bounce and then on the third one bring it back. See how I come here? Okay. Now, you're gonna do that on the other side. So it'll be your left right here. So, just kind of bring it backwards. I come forward, you come around. I don't know why, but I say 90% of the people come to my classes struggle with bouncing and lifting that foot. And we practice a lot with the one, two, three. So I'm hoping you're getting it. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to that single here, okay? And I'm gonna count down from five and you pick up the left and bring it down as you lift your shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Crunch it over. You can push the other arm out however you want to do it. Right arm kind of goes toward that foot. Doing amazing. Getting our second mile soon. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hurts that one. All right. Now we're gonna hit it right now. So we just hit it. Now we're just gonna alternate, bringing your feet back. And if you can't do that too, you can tap back. Single it like that. I'm showing you this way so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do the other side. And I think we're gonna be done. Going by really fast again. Um, I'm called the bouncing queen. So I bounce a lot. I think last month, according to my Apple Watch, I bounced 285 miles. So, um, all right, we're gonna do it. I hit one, we're gonna alternate the feedback. Five, four, three, two, one. Just kind of bring it back. I want you to see it. You don't have to turn it on me. You just barely bring it back. From the front. I'm not going real high. I got my iPad set up, kind of short, so I can't go too high. I cut my head off. <laughs> All right, a couple more. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Now, I'm cutting it close. Now, I'm gonna count down from five, hit one, and then you're gonna come over with that left hand toward that right foot, but I want you to do that crunch as you're 
we are gonna be lifting that hip. That hip comes up with it. Five, four, three, two, one. See how I'm crunching? You can actually bring another arm out, however you wanna do it. Bouncing in and of itself will work your core, but my philosophy is, if I can work my core more with these moves while I'm bouncing, wow, do all for it. It's multitasking. And I always multitask when I work out. I get in as many muscles as I can. <clears throat> okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my feet kind of hurt <laughs> wearing shoes. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. I might not use it anymore. I don't know. Um, all right, here we go. Now, you're gonna bring your feet out into one corner, left front corner, bring them in, other corner. This is our little cool down. Bring them together. Bring them out. Bring them together. And out. I hope you're um, learning and um, I've learned a lot in the three and a half years of teaching bounce classes. And everything's evolved around and it's just changed. And um, I keep coming up with new ways to use this, the rebounder. And I just wanna pass that information on to others. Um, no charge, everything's always free of charge. All I care about is people. And I want people to keep moving and to get stronger as they get older versus weaker as they get older. And that's the key. One more in the corner. Can't use it, age as an excuse. Um, so let's keep moving it. And we are all finished, actually. And we just hit that 2.5 miles. I step off the side, I click my app off, because if I don't, sometimes I start going to do something different and it'll remind me, hey, are you, did you end your workout? So, we're really getting there. Day 16, 14 more to go. And by the time we're done with that, you'll be ready for the art of bouncing. You'll breeze right through that. Have a great day.